Protesters against the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza gathering at major U.S. universities across the country. On the campus of Emory University in Atlanta today, police stepped in to remove activists from the school after officials said they were disrupting the university and its students. The officers used tasers and tear gas to bring the crowd under control. Several people were handcuffed and loaded into vans. The protests and encampments are growing here at Northwestern University. Casey Cronus is live in Evanston where more than 100 people are trying to send a message. Casey. Don and Terrence, students, staff, and even community members began gathering here in Deering Meadow around 7 this morning. It's located near Foster and Sheridan, and even this afternoon, they are still participating in a sit-in in support of Palestine. Things have remained peaceful into the afternoon following an issue earlier today when some of the activists began setting up an encampment with tents. The university says it violates policies and asked those pro protesters to dismantle their tents. Some did, while others were cited by campus police for refusing to do so. And just this afternoon, we've seen more people show up with brand new tents and sleeping bags. So we are expecting they will be here for a while. The campus occupation was organized by Educators for Justice in Palestine, Jewish Voice for Peace, and Student Liberation Union. They say they have three demands. We spoke with an organizer earlier about what the those are. The first is to protect civil liberties for all students and freedom of speech. The second is to pressure administration to disclose divestments and to divest from not only the Israeli apartheid regime, but all war in general. We have several board of trustees members um, who work for companies like Boeing, General Dynamics, and also to make public the uh, investments of this university. We have a very strong contingent of Jewish representation here. Um, we have, as we mentioned, Jewish voices for peace here. We also have Jewish faculty members and staff members here. Meanwhile, Northwestern Hillel released a statement saying they believe much of the protesters' messaging reflects a disturbing trend of anti-Semitic rhetoric, adding that all students deserve to feel safe and welcomed, including the Jewish community here on campus. One that we found particularly problematic is some of the chanting has said all resistance is justified. Um, and we interpret, I would interpret that to consider what happened, the horrific Hamas attack on October 7th, as resistance. And so if all resistance is justified, it could include that. And that is um, concerning fully support students' right to express themselves in a free way of to put out their opinions and their concerns, whether about what's happening in the Middle East or any other issue. Um, we just want that to happen in a, in a way that is uh, contributing to an environment that's welcoming and safe for everyone on campus. Northwestern University issued a statement saying that freedom of expression is among the institution's guiding principles, adding that it is working to balance the right to demonstrate while still protecting the entire community. As was mentioned, this comes as protesters are, protests rather are unfolding on campuses across the country, and just in the last couple of hours, USC announced it is canceling its commencement ceremony amid those demonstrations. Reporting live in Evanston, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.